morning, welcome back on a beautiful sunny day. What a good day for a kebab kubi then. ما چون توی اسکاتلند خیلی هر روز هوای خوب ندیدیم امروز یکی از بهترین روزا بود برای این کار چون تصمیم داشتیم چتر باز بکنیم این رو مقعد بذاریم ولی خب پرفیکت این سپیشل سکل تو بی ایبل تو میک ایت بای هند کس ایلا افی بل یوز لیک ایم قالب ایلا افی بل یوز مولد Mold um, to get the right shape, but mom can do it with her hands, so she's gonna show me her tricks. Kebab kobi day, guys. My hand trick and doing. Can you guys do it? Sade or Sonia? For all the time, lamb does it. Can you do it? Can you go in dance boy kebab sauce? Me, I'm. But I'm not sure. 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 So the ingredients we're gonna need for the meat is. Pushta shark kebab. We use banana samdari, piaz na samdari, namak o ferfelo, samak o zafer. So you need minced lamb, you need um, onions, and you need salt, pepper, saffron, and sumac. Now for or sumac, I think people call it here. Um, this is basically dried berries. Um, that we use as a garnish and like a little extra taste to our foods, kind of like salt and pepper. And it's especially, I think it first came around for kebab, but now a lot of people put it on salads and yeah. all sorts. So um, this also needs a sword. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you call this? Sifkal. Sif. Yeah, obviously I need to. A skewer. So you need some skewers and don't point it on my face. To be honest, <laughs> um, could you use? You can't really use the wooden ones because it won't hold the same well. Nah, no. no. And the reason is because we'll, you will see it later on the way you hold the kebab. So that this metal bed makes sure that inner meat is cooked yep. as well as outside. So let's get started. یه چیزی که خیلی مهمه اینه که خیلی ها گوشت و پشت چرخ کرده گوزفند و گوزفند رو با هم دیگه خاطر میکنن خیلی ها آب پیاز رو میگیرن ولی من هیچ کنم از این کارا رو میکنم گوشت میده خب ما کاری که من میکنم اینه که به من هر مقداری که گوشت چرخ کرده گوزفند داریم گوشت چرخ کرده گوزفند خوبه به مداره چرخش که خوب چستندگی میگیره پیاز هم مثلا الان این کلو گوشت چرخ کرده گوستان دارم پیاز هم زیر دیگه حتی نیکنی که میگن نصف نصف نیست که زیرش مثلا 190 گرم شد این حالا که من وزد میکردم سو There's lots of different methods to do it so you can a lot of people add like onion juice to it or um, whatever else you said I'll translate out of time because I can't remember so don't add onion juice For example, right now we've got 500 grams of mince. There's about just under 200 grams of onion. It just helps. So if you just divide it whatever you have, so <laughs> if you have whatever meat you have, divide it by two, like 500 gram divided by two is 250 gram. So I put on 200 gram or below. It's like Let's a bit. Yeah. The reason I don't take the obish on any gram, I don't take it on it. <laughs> پیاز رو نمیگیرم به خاطر اینه که به نظر من نظر شخصی منه وقتی که آب پیاز رو میگیرم انگار که داریم چفاله پیاز رو استفاده میکنیم اون آب که اون به نظر من مزه آب توی گوشه که خوش نظرش میکنه ولی وقتی که آبش کرده توفاله 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 یعنی ایش چی؟ تو نمیدونی توفاله برای دوستای ایرانیمون میرن توفاله پیاز از آن دلیل اینکه 
هم میدونیم یه گوشه کوبیده میگن یعنی که باید خیلی خوب ورز داده باشه و خیلی خوب کوبیده باشه و لک بشه که خوب اون چسبندگیش رو داشته باشه من چون دستم درد میکنه و اون قدرت رو ندارم از این دوست عزیزم استفاده میکنم The name Kubide basically comes from the way it's made so Kubid Kubid yani like mash mash like this is Kubide it's like so, a mashed potato you know how it, more you just mash it and more you say that and yani Kubide that's an explanation that can answer and then the rest so that's why it's made you need to mince it needs to be mashed together really well for it to work so some people mince it twice Some people meant to one. Some people do it by hand, but my poor mother dear here has injuries, so we use our food processor. Put half of the onion there and put the put half of the mince in. So you have the onion and the rest of the onion, the rest of the meat. Yeah, so it's pretty much that is all you need to do, but it is you really need to know the technique. 
So um, now it's re we're ready to barbecue it. Um, we've let the coal lose all of its flame. I'm going to put all of the kebab in it. The most important thing is that there is no kebab in here. It is that when we put it in the oven, we should not be too hot. We should be able to remove it from the oven. So you have to turn it really quickly as soon as it hits the fire. And this makes sure that the meat doesn't fall off the skewer. It keeps the meat held together. So you just keep spinning it, yeah? Yeah. This is the most important part after the making sure <laughs> the meat sticks. 